Hello everyone, Spidey Fist here, and I'm going to be doing a review for Need for Speed No Limits. I will be reviewing it on my iPad, and this is a free-to-play racing game on the mobile. And it is a Need for Speed game, which means you're probably going to be expecting a certain level of quality. And it definitely lives up to the Need for Speed name. It's a very, very fun game. It looks really good. There is a large variety of cars available. There's a large variety of races to race. There are different race modes. There are special events that happen. And there is a lot in this game to keep you playing. Some of the more progression locked areas like the campaign and then further into the special events that you can go back and replay. Some of those are really grindy and as with a lot of free to play games there is a lot of grinding to be done or you can start using your credit card to cut down the grinding time and you can buy packs and stuff like that. So just all of the things that you would be expecting as far as microtransactions and things like that in the game, just like the other racing games, you can expect to see here, right? Um, but of all of the racing games that I have played and all the free-to-play games that I've played, this is one of those that really is not that greedy. You, you don't have to pay anything. I've been playing this game for over a week now. And I haven't had to use my credit card one time in order to progress in anything that I've been doing. Speaking of progression, as you play through the campaign, you're going to unlock some cars. And then as you play through and you beat those levels, you can go back and you can farm out more blueprints. And you will collect blueprints in order to unlock and star up your cars. You're also going to go through and unlock parts. There are little stores that you can use and little services, I guess you could call them, like a chop shop. There is the actual like loot box store that you can go to. You're gonna have an area where you can use in-game currency in order to buy more parts. And all of this is going to be in order to help you progress further to get more parts and more cars, to progress further to get more parts and more cars. And then you're gonna just work on completing the campaign and then go back and work on completing the special events. And then eventually you are going to work on getting all of the milestones for PvP. And the PvP in this game is not necessarily racing against another player directly. You will be racing against their times. And whenever it comes to mobile games, that is personally my preference where you would compete against their time. Or whenever it's a fighting game, you compete against their characters instead of being worried about like a really strong connection or any kind of lag or anything like that. So for this game, PvP being set up like that does work very well. Next, I'll talk about the controls, and I would say this is probably the biggest negative for me for this game. Um, this game is only touch screen driving. There is no controller support at this moment. And I think that a little bit of controller support would make this game just so much better. But the control scheme is rather simple. You are going to tap left to go left. You're going to tap right to turn right. And the game does steer a little bit for you. So if you make like a small mistake, it's not a big deal. The game auto accelerates. However, by swiping up, you can activate your boost. And then if you want to drift around corners in order to build up more skill points and get more money from your races, you just swipe down and then tap the direction that you want to steer in. So all of that is very, very simple. Now, this would not be a Need for Speed game without the option of modding your cars and customizing it to the way that you like it. In order to do that, what you're gonna have to do is unlock the car and then star it up. And as you star up your vehicle, you are going to unlock more customization options such as bumpers and tail lights and headlights and spoilers and just everything you can think of, body kits, hoods, roof scoops, all of that, you're gonna be able to unlock and then customize your car with. You're gonna be able to put vinyls on. You're going to be able to change the color and things like that. So all those options are available in this game. And I'm going to bring this video to an end by saying I highly recommend it. If you are looking for just a fun and easy racing game to pick up and put down whenever you have time, this is the one for you. I am enjoying this game so much and I definitely plan on playing it some more. 
But that is going to be it for this video. I hope you liked it. If you did, please like, subscribe, ring the notification bell so that we can get notified of any of the videos I put out in the future. And if there are any games that you think that I need to check out or do a review on, let me know down in the comment section below. But I'm Spidey Fist, and I'm out of here.